rest of here. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to set up a um, DX7S with a Bavarian Demon 3SX and um, we're going to set it up for, we're just going to set it up, the, I'll show you how to set up with the um, rescue mode because uh, I've, I've had a fair bit of trouble setting this up so I just want to make sure that um, I remember next time when I have a bit of trouble. Okay, so I've got the, my um, plug connected to the PC, but it's turned off. Transmitter's off, software's set up. And um, so what we're going to do here is basically hold down your thumb switch and turn on. And we're in the system setup mode, so we need to go down to switch select. I'm just assuming that you've already done all the rest of the setup in the Bavarian Demon software and you're just trying to get the self-leveling sorted out and I'll show you how to do that quick. Okay, so go switch, this is just one way I've found, so there may be others. I'll switch select, go to knob and set that to gear. Go back, go out and then go into the main menu and go down to gyro, make sure that's inhibited and then go down to governor and we want to set the governor, use up the governor so we want to use that on to mix and we want to set the channel to aux2 and then we want to set the position 0 for 0 and the position 1 for 100%. Now on mine, I've got a little switch that I've moved over. It used to be the trainer switch and the gear switch. I swatched them over, swapped them over and then resolded them as well. So this one's the gear and this one's the trainer now. So just a test to make sure that the switch actually functions, I'm going to press this button in and it should move the arrow down. As you can see, it does that every time I push that switch in. Right, now what we want to do is confirm that that setting has actually done the right thing. The reason I'd set up knob in the main setup is so that I can run my gyro just for the first tuning, first run of the helicopter on the knob and then once I'm actually happy with the uh, setup I can then read the reading that I've got it set to in my monitor section and then actually set the software up to do that and then disable the knob back in the main menu area. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn the receiver on and that indicates a good sign to start with because it's ember which means it's in rigid mode so that's good and now what we want to do is pull the trigger uh, pull the button and it should go to flashing green and it does so that's engaged into rescue mode and then off into normal Press the switch and back to the normal again. Okay, so that's working. So now what I'm going to do is go into the software and we'll just go to the diagnose tab and we'll just try that button again. And as you can see, it's moving the horizontal channel to minus 101%. Um, if that was running the wrong way, you'd need to reverse the switch, reverse the um, servo so that when you do engage it it does go the correct way um, and as you can see on the screen here when I press the switch these two horizontal stable and collective pitch action actually activate together which is perfect right well, I just thought that would help you out